Let's talk some of the foosball. Um, because we're we're in the final stretch, week 16. Three more weeks of regular season football. Here's what you need to know. Jets battling for their playoff life. Jaguars trying to get in the mix even more. Your Thursday night game, those Thursday night games have been so low scoring that I don't know if I'm excited for that. Thursday night at the Meadowlands, I had no idea. December 22nd, it's going to be in the low 30s. Trevor Lawrence is breaking out. People are drinking the Kool-Aid. They're buying all in. We'll see. Are we going to get Mike White for the Jets? We'll see. Um, Zach Wilson to start as Mike White not cleared. So you're going to get Zach Wilson. That Jags defense has been playing really well. Uh, I actually hate that matchup for the Jets. But like a la the G-Men last weekend, massive game. The Jets are 7-7, seven and 8-7. Seven, and seven. You're, you're making your way to the playoffs or, you know, you're en route. Seven and eight. That locker room gets sad quick. Um, Jaguars, like I've been saying for a while, wish they were one win better. They've been bad on the road. That defense is starting to go. The offense is starting to go. I kind of hate this for the Jets. Sorry, babes. Bills, Bears, Saturday slate. We've got, oh my God. Am I reading this right? That's right, because it's Christmas, people. That's so funny. So Saturday is the big slate of games. Uh, I knew that, and I kind of forgot. Oh, this whole week is going to be so wonky. So Christmas is Sunday. Christmas Eve is Saturday. So Mm -hmm. all of these games are Christmas Eve. Bills, Bears, no thanks. Just not signing up for it. Uh, Only thing I will say, Bears have been losing a ton, and Fields is fun, and Bills could be on a hangover game. So maybe they cover that 8.5. Again, weird week, Saturday. Um, but otherwise, no thank you. Brown Saints. Watch out for Chris Rose's Cleveland Browns, baby. They win this one. They'd be 7-8. and eight. Um, I mean, they've won three of their last four. The one game they lost was to the Bengals. I don't know their path. I was going to bring up NFL playoff percentages. Um, God. I, let's see where I get to. Okay, so... So we've got round one commanders. I'm I'm getting away from this. I just clicked on the worst website in the world. Oh my god. Looked like a bad Excel file. Looked like it a looked, broken Excel file. You trying to find the playoff picture? Not the playoff picture. I wanted that like, like nerdy Kornacki percentages, gotcha. but but we don't need that. Um Texans, Titans, no. I mean if you're the Titans, you needed this game in a bad way. You've lost four in a row. I think they're still in the playoffs. They're currently their division winners. Uh, hmm. Jacksonville, like a game behind them. They play each other the last week of the season. So if you're a chaos person, you're rooting for the Jags on Thursday. Because, um, man, what a story that would be. Titans, perfect time to be playing the Texans. They need a get-right game in the worst way. Seahawks Chiefs could that be fun I don't know it's in Arrowhead Chiefs are nine and a half point favorites which Vegas is telling you no on that one which would bring the Seahawks to seven and eight as they lose which feels more Seahawks than where we were when Geno kept the receipts earlier this year um Giants Vikings Here's what I'll say, and I don't know if it's at the Giants or the Vikings Minnesota are three and a half point favorites they're back in Minnesota Three and a half point favorites over the Giants. Would love if the Giants can't train, could get that next win because that would essentially lock one, them in. One more win puts them in a very good spot. You, you, you we're, everyone's just assuming it's going to come against the Colts. Vikings but. are eleven and three. It, it was is the story of kind of this week in football. You, they deserve a little more respect because they're winning these games. They just had the biggest comeback in NFL history, which like I don't know if Mahomes did that when we'd be freaking out. So. Let's give the Vikes a little more credit. Justin Jefferson, nasty. Dalvin, you know the story. Um, go Giants. I think Dable, Dable can put a plan together. Over, under, 48 and a half. No way. The, the only thing I'll say, like Vikings have clinched their division. 
Right. So so there could be a hangover here. I mean, the division's wrapped up. It, it's they just pretty got much impossible to catch. Blown not, out. Not impossible to catch the Eagles. but Blown out. Biggest comeback in NFL history. They're ba- backstand at home. Honestly, no read on that game. Just the 48 and a half seems super high. That's the same in the Seahawks-Chiefs game. Uh, There's a world where Christmas Eve, they clinched the division already. Probably mm, not catching Philly. Trying to catch the Vikes sleeping. I like it, peeps. Go Giants. Bengals, Patriots, no. Uh, I've been telling you not to watch the Patriots anyways. Uh, They're 7-7. Watch them sneak this out of their butt. Lions, Panthers. Your 500 Lions, they're two and a half point favorites at the Panthers. Don't sleep through this one. We've seen the Panthers oddly battle uh, the past few weeks um, with Sam Darnold twirling the pill for them. How nuts is that? Uh, Go Lions, go America's team. Falcons, Ravens, nope. Uh, Just win Ravens. Commanders, Niners, interested. Tough spot for the Commanders. They really need a win. Niners are pure rolling. See if they could do anything to Purdy or if we get any Heineke magic. That's a tough matchup for the Commanders coming off of that Giants loss. Eagles-Cowboys. So there's your game. 4.25 p.m. in Dallas. The 10-4 and Cowboys versus the 13-1 and Eagles. A uh, lot of pride on the line. A lot of famous games between these two teams. Um, on Christmas Eve, expect something fun there. Your night game. Raiders Steelers, so don't be shy. Don't be shy to hit the eggnog a little early if you have to for that 4 o'clock game because I don't think you need to watch at night. Sunday, Christmas Day football. Packers-Dolphins, your 1 p.m. game. Uh, I don't know. See if the Packers have any fight left in their souls. They're 6-8. and eight. Saw they, them on some in the hunt bra- uh, graphics. I mean, the the Lions are so if they win out, they finish with the Lions. How <laughs> sick would that be to this Lion season if that's like a winner get in game? Them versus Rogers. Don't put yourself in that situation, Lions. Um, I'll watch that. Why not? Christmas, one p.m. Packers, Finns, uh, Dolphins, four point favorites. The Denver Broncos are favorites in L.A. versus the Rams. The two 4-10 and ten teams. Whew. Yikes. Get busy then. Uh, and then we finish Cardinals Bucks at night. Okay, so it's going to be a weird weekend. You're spending a lot of time with f- friends and family. Monday night, Chargers Colts. Go Chargers go. I just wish I want to see them win a blowout game. I feel like that would be really nice for them. They could like just decisively beat a team better th- that they are better than. So it's Cowboys Eagles and then Giants Vikes. Don't sleep on that. A lot of winning, a lot of winning records, uh, in those two games. Implication. It's a weird weekend of NFL football. Enjoy it if you're in your fantasy playoffs. Make sure you start the right guy. A uh, little analytics there. Um. And enjoy the holiday. We'll see if we get any baseball news. We'll see if we get any serious football news. Last week of the NFL was so good that you you should be drinking in this week of the NFL. Um, and then hopefully next week I might do something different instead of just bringing you through the weekend. Maybe we'll map out some playoff picture and, and get our teeth in the foosball just a little more. Thank you, guys. Uh, never say this. Rate, subscribe, review, and all that stuff. We're supposed to. I totally forget. And, and the YouTube's been doing well. Because of that. So, uh, thank you guys. Happy holidays. How about that? Uh, and we might see you guys Monday or Tuesday. We'll see. Next yeah, week's we have, an ugly one. We have huh? to talk about it because we're kind of off, but I can do this show if we're doing it from home. Zoomer. You'll see something. We love you. Great of the Mets. <sighs> Bye.